Welcome to the Pete Show. I'm Happy Pete. I'm Country Pete. And I'm Stabby Pete. And uh, we're drinking a beer from Girdwood Brewery, the Salmon Slayer. It is a Session. Session? Session. Session. Uh, this episode, we're going to be reviewing this beer. And after that, we're going to do a non spoilery Ahsoka review, uh, or just like how we felt about the show overall and if we recommend it or not. And then we're going to do tell you to turn the turn the show off. Then we're going to do a spoiler review if you've already watched the show. <coughs> Don't want to ruin anybody for anybody. But that's the so it's going to be a little bit longer episode because it's going to probably take us long to talk about the show. So you're the only one that's yeah. been to Gerwood. What did you think about the uh, the bar the uh, rest of the um, brewery? It was a nice little brewery, uh, very clean. All the and the people were very very friendly and knowledgeable about their beers. Uh, happily let us sample quite a few. Ooh. Um, this thing smells hoppy. It's got a very citrusy sort of floral, spicy hop smell. Yeah, this is, this is this, I, my my nose is saying this is tasty. Tawana? Well, I like this. Not super bitter though. Tawana, yeah. can you get very much yeah. in the aroma and flavor hop? It's, it's got it has thirty two IBUs. It's, it's a beer. I can just sit which is more than it tastes like actually. I can just sit over there. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Whatever else they do to it, yeah. Is it melon over there? I would have guessed lower. Tony, do you want this comfier chair? I can just sit over there. That way you don't keep getting any stuff. Sure. 5.9% ABV, according to the case. Reasonable. Oh, yeah. I found out I was going through and read, I was working on the spreadsheet the other day. And I realized I hadn't actually put in untapped a bunch of the things we reviewed because I might be using my phone as the camera. So uh, I had to, I got to put in like six things all in one day. Like, well, I didn't actually drink, but I, I had all this stuff, so I just put it in. You get a uh, badge from that? I got tons of badges. <laughs> I also drank a bunch that day. <laughs> I, had a, I had a friend from out of town come in, and we were out drinking. Went to, went to on-site for the first time, and we went to... Uh, Matt, uh, we went to... Um, Pete Noir's favorite uh, mead place in town, Hive Mind, which was, I thought was very tasty. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, I don't think I've been there. I went there with Rob. I went there with uh, Sad Jack. Uh, mm -hmm. Was uh, he happy after? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy as he can be. <laughs> um, this thing I haven't been hiding yet. I'm just still amazed by. This thing has such a beautiful nose. <clears throat> oh, sorry. That's very floral <laughs> on the nose. It's good. Very. The taste is great, too, man. You're right. Real strong citrusy punch. Right? And we're, we're reading this uh, book. We're all reading a book about how to be better beer tasters. <clears throat> and I've really got into the smelling of the beer. It's an important part. Yeah, but I really, I'm just like, I'm, I'm actually very, dis when I get a beer that I can't smell, I'm so disappointed. I'm like, I'm like, I can't smell anything. I'm like, God dang it, this is such a shitty beer. I can't smell nothing. It, it might taste fine, but it's like without a smell, I feel like that's like a huge part of like the beer thing now. I mean, the, the sense of smell and sense of taste are very closely related. But I, I rarely pick up real strong emo, uh, aromas from from beers. Um, you didn't get you got one from this. Didn't you? Certainly for yeah, sure. Yeah, this, this one. And the last I one have, I got. Definitely. I haven't smelled a beer this good since 1973. <laughs> When I was, was that, when I was in Nam, <laughs> <laughs> and this guy, that was from, this this guy from back home in Charleston, South Carolina, brought me some good old Budweiser all the way back to Vietnam. He brought me some. <laughs> was that was that Jungle Pete? <laughs> yes, Jungle Pete. <laughs> Everybody was like, "How did he get here with that beer?" I was like, "I don't care. I'm drinking the beer." All right, country Pete, come back out. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> It was such a such a tough time, uh, but this is this is uh, this is so good. I I have to say this is a uh, maybe one of my favorite beers I've had in a month or so, which is uh, yeah. I'm just saying, now I mean, you I got, narrowed it down. Well, yeah, I've had I mean, I've had a, I've had a shit ton of beers in the last month or so. We've been doing this show so much, and I've been out drinking with my buddies. Uh, and this is pretty good. It's very. Both of these beers tonight were both lighter malty beers, yeah. but both had packed a flavor. Yeah. I like just wall-to-wall -wall flavor. 
I would like to see him fight in the cage and see which one came out on top. <laughs> Salmon Slayer or the Hippy Dippy Birkenstocks? Birkenstocks. Socks, yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I wouldn't characterize either one of these as especially malty. I'm saying that, but yeah, I'm like saying, the like, flavor in the uh, pumpkin spice was kind of that's, that's, that's pumpkin spice. That's what I was saying, though. Actually, and this one is more hoppy. You, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me rephrase. Make sure you understood what I was saying. With, with a beer without a lot of maltiness, usually I get a lot of the flavor from maltier beers, like porters or stouts or Oktoberfests or whatever. These have been light beers without a lot of malty flavor. They've been making up with the, they make it, they make up the flavor with other yeah. things without yeah, the yeah. malt. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Because usually, like, I feel like you get a lot of the good flavors from beers from, like, uh, the chocolate malt or, like, the darker malts you can get. I, I think you, the way you're talking makes me think you consider all light beers to be, like, golden light lager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of light beers. So all those years See, I think you're just doing beers. light beers a bit of a disservice. I, I think you're painting them with a pretty broad brush. I, I, well, I know, but both of these beers, I have to say, I like both of these beers, right? Yeah. To be to be fair, most of the light beer, you enjoyed it nom. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. We'll blame, we'll blame that on Jungle Pete. I like I like my beers like I like my coffee, dark like my soul. <laughs> yes, you never know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna say. Yeah. You really don't know what I'm ever gonna write either. <coughs> oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> Everything on the Pete show is written by AI. Yes. Speaking of that, should we go into your questions you texted? Well, wait, we should. Uh, we should rate this beer. First. Oh yes. Ah. I'm gonna give this a four and a half. Wow. I really wow. like this strong beer. score. Strong score. Yeah, I don't know. This is a ah oh, man. I this has got the it's got hoppiness. It's got uh I, I, it's got good flavors. It feels like it's not just one hop. It feels like it, they put in several different hops. In it. Definitely. Like we, yeah. It feels like it's a complex flavor. It's a journey and a beer. It's also just a journey on your nose. Like it's, it's a, the nose flavor makes us like. So the last one was a journey for your mouth. This one's a journey, journey in your nose. Huh? And in the mouth. It's like <laughs> it's a, it's it's like I'm going to Mount Doom <laughs> and I get to ride the Eagles back home. It's like a complete journey. I get to ride. I get to do the same. There, there and back again. Yeah, there and back again. This was this is in the nose, in the mouth. It's fucking awesome. Join the Pete Show for the next episode: the journey of whatever orifice. <laughs> <laughs> We're running out. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm pouring this beer in my ear. Oh, it sounds, oh, beer sounds great. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> 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 well, so what do you guys think? I would give it a three. Mm. That's just, that, I mean, I think it's it's a good beer. It's a good beer. I think I liked the previous one a little more, but. I'm pretty sure that is the largest deviation between mine and your rating ever. I might have been, Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a three point five. Uh, I, I I like it less than the the pumpkin spice one we just had, but I uh, you know I, I like it in a different way. My yeah. nose likes it way better. It's than a very spice. different beer. Very different. Very different. Yes, you know they're not. It it definitely doesn't taste like the pumpkin spice one was like this with pumpkin spice added. They're completely. Oh yeah, yeah. This is, this these is are not, beers that are not, not even the trying to compete with The each pumpkin spice is having totally totally These different. are for people with different different flavors. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Preferences. Uh, Pete Noir, what do you think? This is really good. Uh, it tiptoes the line of me getting sloshed drinking <laughs> it, which normally happens with dark beer, but I could see myself drinking too much of this accidentally. Yeah, yeah. It is very tasty, yeah. so... Uh, my, my biggest worry with this beer is that I'll sniff it up. <laughs> I'll be like, trying to, get too, trying to get too close to my nose and be like... <laughs> well, the good news is it'll still travel down your throat. So. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be your taste buds, though. It's true. It'll be a different <laughs> journey. <laughs> You'll probably be sneezing like a mofo. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a non-spoiler review of Ahsoka. All right. Oh, I'm going to look at these questions that you texted us. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read just right. like you did. Let's just do one just question at a time. Typos yeah. and all here. Right, we're gonna do a non spoilery recommendation first, and then we're gonna do a spoiler, and we'll tell you. So Good don't worry luck. about it. Good luck trying to pronounce it how it, he wrote it. So what was the burst part of the show? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, that's not. That's not. That's burst. clearly a spoilery one. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be the first part. It's supposed to be something else. Well, the first part is. What, what, would you would you recommend it? And what? Not, don't, don't get any spoilers away, but if you want to tell like a little bit about the show, okay, non-spoiler thoughts before we yeah, get into those questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I enjoyed it, but I am a huge Star Wars fan and mm -hmm. a fan of Rebels. Um, you know, uh, if you were going to give it an untap rating, what would you say? <laughs> a one, one through five. Not enough kid fisting. Uh, That's, yes. <laughs> 3.5. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say about to say it was a good show. Definitely I loved it. Uh, would I recommend it to a non-Star Wars person? Well, I would, reckon, I would recommend Andor to a non-Star Wars person. But I wouldn't reckon, yeah, recommend Ahsoka. I wouldn't Ahsoka. recommend Ahsoka either. No. 3.5 is probably right in the range I was thinking. I'm going to rate it at a 4 at least. You think it was good? For myself. Now, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely for a Star Wars fan. You know, if you enjoyed the Clone Wars and Rebels, I mean, you would love that. You know, it's a continuation of that story. But if... If you're not if you're not a fan of those and uh, and uh, you know I watched it with somebody who wasn't and having to pause and answer and, and just having to pause and answer you know who's that who's that who's that yeah there was, a, there was a, that was one of the things about this show that was definitely something that I would reason I wouldn't recommend it like Andor had nothing you had to know about beforehand yeah. there was a god darsh god darsh what I was gonna say I was gonna say another word but my wife looked at me in the eyeballs we've talked about this before. I know exactly how she feels when she looks at me, and I was like, "You better not say that word." And I was like, "Gosh, geez. gosh, Darth." It was like me. I was like, "It was like Alaska snow outside." I was like, "Slide," and I was like, "Don't say the curse word, Johnny." <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's so much like Rebels, Clone Wars. Like, there's so much non-movie stuff you had to know to make this show make sense. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah, it was tough for a normal person. I would understand why it would be tough. Um, what did you say? You give it a you give it a four. I gave yeah, it a four. Have you have you watched the four? Have you watched the Pete Noir? I don't like uh, watching Jedi's get their way. Uh, yeah, what? yeah. I'm not a huge fan. I love Sith all the way. So there's uh, there's a really good Sith in this show. Though. Yeah, there are some oh, Sith yeah. who uh, had their Bailen, had their way. Balen Skull yeah. is amazing. He's yeah. my favorite character. And uh, rest, rest in peace, uh, Ray Stevenson. <laughs> yeah, Ray yeah. Stevenson. Yeah. I didn't. I after I watched the show, I was like, man, I really love this guy's acting. So I went back and, and like. Looked at all the stuff he used. He's been a bit character or, or like a main character in a bunch of shows that I've watched. Yeah, let's go. Let's all go was, watch. I love Rome. Yeah, Rome was a fantastic. Oh my god! Show. That I mean, was yeah, so good. It, it I was, mean, Rome was you know that it was back from you know same time as I think the Sopranos were on. It was equal quality. Yeah, yeah, very good show. And HBO canceled it because they're idiots and assholes. I guess he was also in the, in the Three Musketeers movie that I really he was. Liked. He was in the the new. The new one, like, most people, didn't, most people gave it a big panic, but I think that's just like they, people didn't come like he was what, a solid Porthos. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. well, when I go to a movie, I go for the ride, and I don't try to tell you what your ride should be. I just try to enjoy the ride, like whatever you're taking me. It's like you know when I start drinking, whatever I end up is fine with me. I don't really care. <laughs> he was also one but, of the, the, I end up in New Guinea, I'll be fine. One of the main. Uh, uh, villains for a season in Dexter. Yes, and he was amazing in that. I, I did not see that season in Dexter. Dexter was tough for me to watch. Yeah. Okay. A lot of killing that. Movie, I'm sure. yeah, well, and you wouldn't like him as uh, Frank Castle in I hear, I heard, Punisher I, I, War Zone. I I, 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 I haven't seen that one. I hear uh, that's a lot of shooting. In that he one. was a he was a pretty decent Frank Castle because he was just a complete psycho. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was in, he was in some other stuff. I don't remember now, but he's. But I was saying like he's been a pretty solid actor. For, for yeah. most of his life, I really. He was in that weird uh, King Arthur movie uh, oh, with. Um, oh yeah, with Clive Owen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clive Owen and, and, and Stellan Skarsgård. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was in. Um, he was in Black Flag or that pirate show. He was. Uh, I I remember watching the pirate show, but I saw I saw some clips after I found he was in it. He was. I can't. He was one of the bad guys. One of the pirates. Whatever. Um, but yeah, R.I.P. Pour a little bit out for Ray Stevenson. Yeah, I don't have anything else. To uh, if you uh, if you have this beer, put it down in the comments what you think about it, what you rate it, and we'll respond to you what we think. Um, uh, if you have any, any things or about this about the soca you want us to talk about another show, put it down in the comments. We'll bring up another show. We'll probably and we'll we hundred percent respond to all comments. So and subscribe and stuff. At least country people. Ah. The, the Pete Show does. There's comments. May the force be with you. <laughs> yeah. uh, on that. Oh, and don't don't drink alone. Drink with us. Mm. This beer is so good. It's a sacrilege. <laughs> Just hold it in your mouth. 
I just enjoy, enjoy that journey. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy that journey. All the way. <laughs> what if you hide the skill that left on me? <laughs>